What I'm going to go over is an affordable milking barn and just a goat barn, you know, and how to do it cheap and affordable. If you like our videos, don't forget to click to subscribe, comment, share with your friends, all that fun stuff. But also don't forget we have courses on every subject you could ever want about goats, birthing, milking, how to raise babies, how to run pack goats. Um, and then we have in the future a lot of things just to do, do with homesteading in general. Um, so what I want to talk about with the um, ultimate goat barn is just to how do I make it affordable what do I need to consider and how can I get it done on a budget so I hope you find this uh, video helpful I'm building my milking and accessory barn part for my milking kidding and goat barn um, as a complement to my setup and this is the third one of these I built, although I milked forever just in one of my barns and stuck a stanchion in there and that works awesome. But then you gotta deal with the flies and cold and no water and lots of implications of just trying to do that, you know, in a, in a barn. So this is the second one of these I built. The first one was super small. It was, you know, it was, you can get away with a really small space. It was super small and there wasn't much room to move around in. And this one is not huge. But lumber supply and lumber prices and just building materials and stuff are so crazy right now that I'm just really trying to super optimize. Like for example, the, the lumber that I'm using, these two by sixes, you ask yourself, well, why am I building it with two by sixes? Um, because I can get two by sixes out of these one-time use pallets um, that, that, that granite gets hauled on and then we pull apart the pallets and we get these 12 foot two by sixes for it, it ends up being about six bucks a piece, which is cheaper than I can buy a two by four. And so <coughs> um, we made everything dimensionally be only 12 feet long, so I could do everything with 12s. And the only portion of this that's 16 feet long is the, is the width, because that's also the width of the shed that we're trying to add on to. So I'm, I'm really, I'm not building the ultimate milking barn. I'm building the ultimate milking barn on a budget uh, because I'm not made of money either. So things to think about if you're going to build a milking barn is, is that it's really nice to have a system where the goats, they, they, when they get milk, they figure it out too and they know the circuit. They know what gate they're being let in. They know the order. Um, you want to do it repetitively and so you want to build a system that allows for repetition. Main things to think about in a milking barn is warm water is a huge blessing. Having something to clean with is, is really important. Um, number two is power. Having the access to be semi-temperature controlled and to have lights, really, really uh, a luxury in, in a milking barn. And then countertops and cabinets to store equipment and then shelves to store kind of the bigger equipment and if on top of it you can store your grain in here and and the other things that you're going to use in terms of supplies those are the things to consider in a milking barn and we'll update you as we're building it what we end up finally deciding on and and uh, if i encourage one thing is don't build yourself into a corner where you only have one option leave yourself lots of options so that as you figure out the flow of your building you can move things and that cleaning's easy too and that's is one thing i forgot to mention don't forget that this is an area that you're trying to keep clean and so if you make it difficult to clean then you make your job that much harder so do make it easy to clean as well so there you go. Hope you find that helpful.